Hey guys, welcome back to our channel CAC Concepts with Parinda. Guys, uh, as you know, in our last video, I have told you or I have explained you what is articulation point, what are biconnected components, and if any uh, graph is given to you, how we can find out the articulation point and uh, the biconnected components step by step, right? I have given you the definitions, I have given you the formulas, and step by step we have seen one complete example. So I hope it made the things clear to you. Here I am explaining you one more example of how to find out articulation. Point right. This graph is uh, quite different than the previous graph. So I would recommend you that if you don't know anything about this topic, then first go to that video and uh, understand the whole concept carefully, and then come to this video and see the example number two. Then it will get you will get a more clarity. Fine. Okay. So. First of all, let us say this is the graph given to us, and the question is that find out articulation points present in this graph. So guys, uh, remember. what is the first step that i have told you that from this graph we need to construct one tree now for constructing one tree uh, how to construct the tree we will be giving the numbers to this graph we will be giving the numbers to the nodes of this graph as per the dfs traversal okay so you can start from um, i have already explained each and everything in detail in the previous video and so in this video i will go quite quickly and straight forward so that this is just a uh, practice example for you to see one more variety of example fine okay so let us give the dfs numbering to give the DS, dfs numbering you can start from any node but it is recommended that whenever such numbers are given like 0 1 2 3 4 or a b c d whenever any such proper sequence is given it is recommended to go sequence wise so here we'll start with Zero. Okay. So first of all, I am traversing this from zero. I can either go to five or I can go to one. But let us say I am going to two. I am going to one from one to two. So it's one, two, three. Okay. Then from here to here. So four. Then five. Now, is there any unvisited node from four? Can I go somewhere else? No. Right. So there is no more uh, place from four. You can go to either three or two. But three and two are already visited. So no more new uh, node. So here. as there are no more new untraversed road a uh, node we will give the end point here so the end point here is 1 2 3 4 5 so here the end point will be 6 go to the previous node now from here can you go to any new node no so end node 7 from here we have come from 4 3 so 7 8 now here are there any new node where you can go from 1 no so we have we will be writing the end number here 9 now coming here from 0 is there any new node where you can go Yes, from zero you can go to five, and five is still untraversed, right? So in this case, you cannot give the end number to zero. You have to first come to five. So up to nine, we are done. So here we will get ten. From five, can you go to any unvisited node? No. So here we will give the end point, then go there and give the end point twelve here. Got it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 11 and 12 right so here this is how you will give the numbering in the graph as per the dfs right so once you are done with this the second step is to make the tree based on these numbers like whichever node is visited first like this is the one number this is two this is three so in that order the nodes will come in the tree right so first of all which node will come obviously zero so first of all this zero will come From zero, we are going to one, then two, then three, then four. So let us say one, two, three, and four. Then at the end, we are going to five. But five is connected to what zero? So five is connected to this zero. You have to take care of that, right? Now let us write its traversal. This is the traversal. This is having traversal number one. We have traversed zero in the first, in the very first time. Now this is two. This is three. This is four. This is five. This is six. In the previous video, I have explained you. These are what the numbers that we are writing here. They are the DFN number. Okay. Okay. So this is done. Now one more thing I have told you to take care of that we have made the tree. We have written these numbers, sequence numbers. Now <clears throat> one thing you need to see that are there any edges that are present in the graph but that are not yet present in our tree? Tell me, are there any such edges? Mm, yes. See, guys, two, four. We are having one edge between two and four in this graph, but between two and four there is no edge here. So in those cases, what you need to do, you need to uh, draw those edges like this dotted, and they are known as back edge. Okay? Then are there any one nodes? Are there any more nodes? Yes, one, two, three. One, two, three. We are having one edge there, but one, two, three, no edge is there. 
so one two three we will draw one dotted edge that will be known as back edge are there any uh, edges that are remaining no all the edges that are present in the graph we have covered them in our tree so this is our tree clear okay so this was one primary step because if you uh, do anything incorrect in this tree making then your whole sum can go wrong okay okay now that is done now what is our next step our next step is an important step to find out low of all the nodes so we have to find low of 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 now how to find out low i have shown you the formula we have seen the formula last time so here is the formula that we have seen right again if you want you can write it down or you can take the screenshot that low of the u is equal to min of dfn of u comma min of low of w comma min of dfn of w where this u is the same node, this u is the same node, w is its child and this w is the back edge. So, if child is not present, we will do dash. If back edge is not present, we will do dash. Okay. So, let us implement directly. Let us see how to do that. Now, one by one, what I have recommended you that always while finding out the low of all the nodes, obviously, we need to find out the low of all the nodes, right? But always start with the leaf node right so here we are having two leaf nodes four and five so first of all we will find out low of four and low of five so let us see i'm finding low of four okay so low of four will be equal to what min of dfn of itself right dfn of itself so four comma dfn of comma we are having next what the next parameter is uh, min of low of child right but 5 and 4 are itself leaf node do they have any child no there is no child so next parameter will be dash it will be empty and then we are having back edge so dfn of because for 4 in 4 do we have any back edge yes this is the back edge right so this is 2 dfn of 2 clear so this is equal to min of 5 this is dash and dfn of 2 dfn of 4 is here guys these numbers are dfn right so dfn of 4 is 5 and dfn of 2 is 3 now the min of 5 and 3 is equal to 3 okay okay now one root is 4 so one leaf is 4 we have found out the low of 4 similarly we will find out the low of 5 so low of 5 now i hope you will be able to find out low as per the given formula right try to find out yourself i am still doing it here quickly so that uh, you can tell your answers right Low of 5 will be equal to min of dfn of 5. It is not having any child. Also, it is not having any back edge. So, that is equal to and only one parameter is there. So, no need of min dfn of 5. It will give you answer 6. Then, let us find out 4 and 5 is done. Then, we will go one step above. So, low of 3. Low of 3 is equal to min of dn of, of 3, min of low of 4 and this dfn of 3 is 4 the uh, low of 4 low of 4 is what we have found out 3 dfn of 1 is what 2 so the minimum value out of 2 3 and 4 we will get is 2 so low of 3 is equal to 2 right similarly find out low of 2 1 and 0 0 is interesting i will show you how to find out 0 uh, quickly low of 3 just i'm writing down the values if you have any doubt or if you are not getting the value let me know in the comment section i will explain you okay so low of 2 if you find out similarly you will get 2 and low of 1 you will get 2 and low of 0 now observe it carefully here 0 is having 2 child okay so how you will find out low of 0 min of dfn of itself so dfn of 0 comma min of we are getting low of child so here zero is having how many childs two childs right so min of low of five comma low of one so out of these two whoever low is less we will take that value okay like this and the last parameter is uh, for back edge but zero do zero have any back edge does it have any back edge no there is no back edge so it will be dash right so min of dfn of 0 is 1 low of 5 and low of 1 see low of 5 is low of 5 we have already found out it is 6 right low of 5 is 6 and low of 1 is 2 so out of 6 and 2 which is minimum 2 is minimum so we will write 2 here now min of 1 and 2 which one is minimum 1 is minimum so low of 0 is 1 right now simple we know that after finding the low of all the values what we need to do we need to check one condition the condition is if low of w is greater than or equal to dfn of u 
if this condition is true we can say that it is our articulation point and if the condition is true it is articulation point if the condition is not true it is not the articulation point right now before applying this formula it is not necessary to apply this formula on all the nodes right you need to understand that we can eliminate the root node and the leaf node how observe this tree um, always remember that the leaf nodes here the leaf nodes are four and five the leaf nodes of your tree can never be the articulation point right so in this case four and five are not the articulation point right so for them we don't need to check the formula similarly for the root here clearly we can see that the root is further divided into two zero is divided into left side five right side y one so whenever the root is divided into more than one parts we can directly say that that root is our articulation point clear so for three nodes it is clear one is the articulation point and four and five cannot be the articulation point so which are the remaining one two and three these three nodes are the remaining for which you need to check this formula okay so for zero for one sorry for uh, we need to find out for one two and three so for one for two and for three we will check, check this formula either any of them are the articulation points or uh, or not for one dfn of one dfn of one is equal to two and low of two low of two is two they both are same here we need greater than or equal to that means yes it is satisfied so one is our articulation point let's see for two dfn of 2 is what guys dfn of 2 is 3 and low of 3 is 2 so is low of this that means if is 2 is greater than or equal to 3 no that means it is not the articulation point okay and for 3 we can find out dfn of 3 what is the value of dfn of 3 it is 4 and low of 4 it is equal to 3 now e is 3 greater than or equal to 4 again no so again 3 cannot 2 cannot be the articulation point 3 cannot be the articulation point so we already knew that 0 was the articulation point and here 1 is also the articulation point so as per the given graph you can conclude that 0 or and 1 both these nodes are what both these nodes are articulation points ap clear so in the previous video i have explained you one different type of example for different type of graph and this is one again another variation so i hope with the help of both of these videos now you are capable enough to solve any question that is given to you on the basis of articulation point and by connected components okay so still if you have any doubt or if you have any another example that you want me to solve here you can always ask in the comment section i will be happy to help you out thank you so much